Hello and welcome back to another out of spec reviews video. Welcome here to ID Buzz Heaven. There are buzzes everywhere. I thought I'd take you on a quick tour of just this amazing launch event. I can't quite tell you about how this thing drives yet, but I think I can show you some of the cool things Volkswagen is doing to show the media this car. I mean, it's kind of fun to go behind the scenes, see what the media is seeing when we get to take a look at these things, the charging infrastructure that they brought along and installed, and of course, how they're presenting the product. I can't tell you anything about driving dynamics until I think September 7th or 8th, somewhere around there. But at least for now, let me show you about the ID Buzz first drive global launch event for YouTubers, writers, etc. So I'll take you on a quick tour and then that'll be that. As an ID buzz goes past, there's just a sea of these things. I think Volkswagen brought over 50 of them to present to the global media. And we are here in Copenhagen. And uh, actually the drive consists, they have some pretty incredible drive routes over to Sweden uh, and some pretty impressive places, I have to say. They've brought along two versions of the ID Buzz, both in the standard wheelbase, which is all that's going on sale at launch, which is the passenger ID Buzz and then the ID Buzz Cargo. And these two are really a good representation to show the differences between the two vehicles, just in terms of styling. So the cargo doesn't have any of the rear windows back there you can see the different wheel sizes these are the 18 inch wheels these are the 20s they have 18 19 20 and 21 inch wheels they have a whole bunch of different colors my understanding is in the u.s market at least we're only going to be getting the two-tone colors when it launches also the u.s spec id buzzes will have the long wheelbase i think with a bigger battery pack i've been trying to get it out of someone they haven't told me yet my guess is it'll have somewhere around a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack i've filmed already a couple videos here so far I filmed a driving review a full review of one of these uh, yellow launch colors this is the launch specification for the car and uh, filmed a full you know first drive video I'm about to head out in an ID cargo similar to this one a total base one I actually like it because they kind of have clear tail lights like Porsche style you can option clear tails take a look at that really nice I do like these as well it also has this blacked out so no center bar in the back so f-150 lightning and ID buzz cargo both don't get the light bar in the rear, which is kind of funny for the standard configurations. I really am loving this blue with white combination. This might actually be my favorite combination on ID Buzz, but I think the car is so happy. It really fits sort of a bright color. They only have a couple orange ones and a couple teal ones around, but I like those as well. I can hear planes in the sky. There we go. Lufthansa heading out right there. And let me show you some of the charging infrastructure that Volkswagen has put in for this event, which is just working out pretty well. So they have level two charging and DC fast charging all at this event. So you can take a look over here. They have, you know, DC charging or sorry, AC charging points, probably 22 kilowatts or something like that. The vans can only do 11 kilowatt AC charging. And you can see you have to bring your own type two cable like this right here in order to AC charge them. One nice thing I thought was that they're only charging them to 80%, which is the recommended battery maximum that you charge these things to. Here's an ID cargo, but with the upgraded headlights, which is pretty interesting. So you can see it has the LED headlights on this particular one, the IQ light, I think they call it. Um, and then this is the one I'm just about to take out. You can see the base headlights in this particular one uh, not having the full bar. So does the IQ light up front? Yes. So on the cargo, you can spec the full rear taillight situation with the bar if you get the good headlights compared with this one over here. Now this is a total blacked out one with the big wheels. I really like this spec. No secret, I think blacking out a car is really cool. Uh, and this one's on the 21s as well, which look awesome. You <laughs> roll up in this thing, you mean business. Inside it's got the black cloth seats. Let's see if it's unlocked. Yes, it is. Interesting interior to go with all this piano black here. I have not seen this interior yet. Pretty nice, I have to say. I like this cloth material. The ID cargo that I'm about to go in, you can see over here has actually even a little bit less of a premium cloth, just more basic interior. Here's all my stuff. I've got the AC running in here to cool it down. We have a 12 volt outlet up here on the dash. USB-C port over there, 43 watt power delivery. 
USB-C port. We're at 81% on this one. But let me show you some more charging stuff that they brought along. This is really freaking cool because this is a uh, high power DC fast charger. I want to say somewhere around 120 kilowatts, but actually has a battery pack inside of it. I don't know all the specifics. Maybe we can take a look down here. Let's see. It's 193.5 kilowatt hour LFP pack inside as well, which is pretty interesting. Uh, liquid cooling. Uh, and it works from minus 20 to plus 50. That's pretty amazing. The thing weighs 2,650 kilograms. And uh, yeah, you can see it's sort of on a low power grid connection fed to two DC ports on the front side. It's called an LE charging stop. I think that's maybe the provider of this. And you can see here we are at 87% charge doing 48 kilowatts there. This one's 120 kilowatts available. So maybe it's 120 on both ports. I couldn't find quite an expert here to tell me about it, but kind of a beefy looking charging station, really a cool unit. I love the idea of having a battery buffer inside of it. Really awesome. And this is one's branded, of course, for Volkswagen commercial vehicles, which is awesome. And then just a C of ID buzzes along this way. They have a really cool sort of hangout area over here where you check in and get your keys and everything like that for all the media to drive. Loving these yellow ones. I think this teal color is pretty fun as well. They have an old timer, which is the German phrase for a classic vehicle and uh, just an old, you know, multi-window. The more windows, the more expensive these buses are, which is pretty cool. So let me show you some of the displays inside. They did a really nice job with everything. And then I'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the drive routes that they had us go on. It's just a really nicely planned event for ID Buzz. I want to thank Chesapeake Climate Action Network Action Fund for sponsoring today's video. Now we've told you guys about the work that they're doing to support clean energy initiatives in the country and we've also told you that they're giving away a Rivian R1T launch edition that they already own. It's ready to be delivered to whoever wins this thing or you can spec out a Tesla Model S or X Plaid with $135,000 worth of Tesla credits. Again, the odds of winning the raffle are amazing. No more than 5,500 tickets will be sold, and there are still roughly 1,500 tickets left. Your $200 donation will help save the planet. It's a win-win. Here's the thing. They're totally undersold still. The raffle's ending soon, and I really mean this. You will never have a better chance of winning a Rivian or a Tesla ever. This is pretty crazy. So for $200, you can support a great cause and purchase a ticket for your chance to win a Rivian R1T Launch Edition or a Tesla Model S or X Plaid. All you have to do is go to evraffle.org. And here's the entrance into this little building, this presentation room they have for lunch and things like that. I'm just gonna show you some of how it's all broken up. So of course you can see over here, just the buzz front and center for walk around presentations. They have these screens that came down this morning for journalists. We were sitting here, they gave us a little presentation on the buzz. Nothing real nerdy, but look, they're getting into some pretty good stuff. They're talking about peak charging rates and kilowatts. They're talking about aerodynamics values, things that are, you know, not just super basic stuff, but yeah, I would say not everyone's as nerdy as we get on this channel, but pretty good. This is an interesting spec, so not the cool colored interior of the car that I drove earlier today. It's just all of this candy white, as you can see. Really interesting. You can see massaging seats right here on these as well. Just does the backrest. Really nice interior. Again, I've made a whole bunch of videos on the Buzz today and will continue to do so as well. Let me show you inside some of these rooms so you can see they have this cool overlanding set up as well with a tent, with a, uh, a bed that goes in the back. So take a look at this, just really cool experiences. They talk all about AC charging, DC charging here. You can see 77 kilowatt hour pack charging at 170 kilowatts, going from five to 80%. They talk a little bit about charging curves, not too much. You can see this slides into the back of the buzz a whole bed platform. It's sold as a Volkswagen accessory, which is pretty awesome, I have to say. I think this flips. Yes. No, maybe. How does this open up? Let's look into this. Here we go. Boom. Just like this. Open. And then in here, how cool is this? You have a little grilling station so you can fry some stuff up. 
drill some stuff up. You got water storage. You could really make this whatever you want in terms of a modular solution. But this is one of the many accessories I hope Volkswagen has for the buzz. I just love the idea of turning this into sort of van life. That'd be awesome. I think it needs a little bit of a taller roof. In the US, the longer wheelbase won't hurt for all van life stuff, but just a cool room and presentation here, all about charging, going out in the wild. Show you some of the motor stuff over on this side. Over here, they have a lot of different talking about the technical aspects of it. Of course, here's the rear motor, permanent magnet motor, 150 kilowatts, same as ID4, uh, ID3, etc. There is no all wheel drive version at the moment, but hopefully they'll launch this in the near future. And that would just be, you know, sort of the, uh, I think it's a 60 or 70, maybe 80 kilowatt front motor, but it's a induction motor on the front axle. So you can have one powered and one off for highway efficiency, basically a large motor and a small motor. I gotta say this thing, uh, you know, just from ID3, ID4, it's a solid unit. They're pretty reliable and uh, they take a pounding. So I think that's probably the right choice for the rear of it. Of course, I can't tell you how it drives though. So you'll have to wait and see for that video. There's one more little room as well down over this way. If we just take a run around, which is all about some of the technology such as travel assist and parking assistant and things like this. So you can see a whole display on travel assist with swarm data talking about how the vehicle can, you know, what sensors it uses, front radar, rear radar, front camera, cloud connection, ultrasonic sensors, etc., which is really, I think, neat. A little hangout area to talk with experts, which I did earlier today, which was great. Really nice to be able to talk with the people who actually designed the stuff before we review it. They're really making a big deal of this automatic parking with memory function, and um, I'll have to wait until September to tell you a little bit more about that. But yeah, just nice. They're talking about their software updates. Software 3.2 is in the vehicle and um, doesn't really do much different than 3.1, just built in Spotify and a few other little things, but nothing major. So let me go outside and show you a little bit more. I'm actually just about to take the ID Buzz Cargo for a drive. And again, unfortunately, embargoes exist. I can't quite tell you all about that yet, um, but you can see just some of the stuff they're calling it. The iconic bully, which is really a European phrase about these things, of course. And then take a look at all of this. These are all the stops that they've put together on this drive, and they're all curated around the ID Buzz. So the one that I think we're going to actually head to is this little beach park right here where they've actually put an ID Buzz on the roof of this building. So I wanna go over there and check that out. And each one of these has an ID Buzz in different places, different stuff like that. And you can go, um, you know, experience different thing, different things I should say. It's really kind of a cool layout of all the different stuff. But let's head over to this little park. It's about six kilometers away. And we'll see, I guess, an ID Buzz on the beach on the roof of this building. It should be kind of interesting. So let's mount up some cameras and you'll have to wait for that video to come later on, but I'll show you a little bit more around this launch event. Really, really nicely. Welcome to the beach here in Copenhagen. I've just parked up our ID Buzz cargo. There's a nice ID3 over there actually. And we've arrived at one of the ID Buzz stops. <laughs> Let me show you around this. It's so cool. And welcome to a ID Buzz stop. So it's a cool little gift shop area right along the ocean, which is just over here. But let's head upstairs because I heard they actually put an ID Buzz on the roof with a crane, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just loving the, <laughs> loving the fun of all of this. I don't know how many weeks they're running this program, but I know a lot of media is coming through to experience this. And here we are up on the roof. Hey there. And uh, the, here's the buzz, this thing is so neat. So lift it up by a crane, they put it up on the roof of this place so everyone going by can see it. Also a good marketing thing. And uh, yeah, just awesome to be here on the beach along a river, which I think is near the ocean, at least the oceans. Yeah, right there, there's some of the offshore wind. And here's the buzz. Interestingly, they are always showing the buzz, at least in the demonstration state with the 20 inch wheels and tires, not the 21s. I think it looks best on the 21s personally. These aren't bad at all, but pretty interesting. People are kayaking, <laughs> paddle boarding, doing the thing around. This is just absolutely awesome. I was actually just over in Sweden earlier today at another ID Buzz stop. We'll patch over to that here shortly so you can see what that was like. Hello from Sweden. Check this out, pretty cool. We have a 2CV and of course our ID Buzz. 
And uh, yep, just cruising around Sweden and Denmark today. Funny to see everyone checking out. The buzz, of course, gets attention wherever you go. <laughs> we had some folks stop by to check it out. What was your name again? Nick. Nick, you're a viewer. Thanks so much for uh, coming to say hey. And uh, I guess your buddies are checking it out over here too. So what do you guys think of it so far? We like the design. The design right. is, uh, is great. It's, yep. uh, it is... It's like it's it's from the it's from the future, but it's bringing back the old stuff. Yeah, we absolutely, like very retro, as we would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this one's just the cargo win one. I wish I brought the passenger to show you all the cool interior bits. Uh, but even here, there's little Easter eggs, like you can see a little smiley face inside the door handle, which is kind of fun. Yeah. So they really had some fun with the design in this, I think. But it's it's supposed to have fun. It's a, it brings a smile on your face. Absolutely. Just rolling up, seeing a smart car and a speedster, only the finest of vehicles allowed here, of course, and then an ID buzz up that way. But let's take a look at what this Harbor House has to offer. I think uh, this should be a pretty cool stop. Oh, Tycon on some rams, as we would say. What the heck is going on there? Uh, that's a bit, bit too much for that car, I think. I think this buzz is here, and there we go, ID buzz stop. They've like taken over the entire city. And now you join me over at the Crane, another ID buzz stop on the other side of town. And uh, this is really cool. Apparently it's a hotel that you can rent. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of it, but it's just a great way to experience a city. You know, I'm really lucky. We live the dream, right? I get to go on some of these events and see how the manufacturers present the cars. The thing that I like about what Volkswagen is doing here is it's all about the buzz. It's not like, let's go to this fancy restaurant and do this thing. It's like, take your buzz and do your parking thing here and then try the lane assistant and then try the fast charging they're really presenting it in the best way possible i think really a well done event but let me take you on a tour of the crane let's go check this out as another id buzz stop so they id cargo on display here which is great we can see our friends over from fully charged doing about to start filming this thing they obviously have a lot better video quality than we do but i would subscribe to fully charged on youtube and uh, i'll be over at fully charged live in just a few days after this video goes up so over here we have the reception area i guess it's a little restroom actually okay seems nice that's cool so you can just rent a room here right yeah yeah you can uh, rent a whole hotel it has a bedroom upstairs and as I said, it has sauna and two bath tubes. It's a close day, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it's really nice. And you also have this big conference room for conferences. Yeah, well, do you mind if I go in and check it out? Yeah, check it out. All right, let's go see this thing. So so you guys rented this out for the last couple of weeks then? Yeah, Volkswagen rented it for the whole uh, event. Yeah. So the journalists can come, make photos and video shots here, and also have a uh, refreshing, like snacks and drinks and coffee. Yeah. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, this I is like so cool. Yeah. Very much. And now we're reaching the top of the first staircase, I guess, with an incredible view of the harbor out here. This is really something amazing. There's also another one over there, Harbor House. So, yeah, come in. Thank you. Here's my colleague, Julian. And Hello, welcome to the harbor. Hey, thank you. This is pretty cool. Thanks for having me. It I is, appreciate yeah. it. Hi, hi. This is insane. So this is your view for the basically last couple of weeks. You get to... It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's pretty insane. You guys are very lucky. <laughs> what a cool little stop and a great way to experience Copenhagen. You can see fully charged guys, Jack and Andy, I believe down there filming the ID Buzz parking feature. I parked our little cargo right there. And uh, yeah, I can't really tell you about how it drives. Wish I could, but coming soon. This is so freaking neat out here, isn't it? So cool. I guess there's also a hotel room upstairs. Yeah, if you'd like to see it, uh, yeah. you can come with us. Yeah, let's go take a look at this. That's one hell of a coffee maker too. I feel like we should be reviewing cars, not hotels, but this is <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> since you're here. Yeah, since we're here, we- the opportunity. And man, the cargo looks pretty good down there. Nice little outdoor dining area. It's called the Amazing Crane. Now, what would have been cooler is if you put an ID buzz on the crane. 
I, I don't think if this is working crane anymore, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have the sun deck over here. Oh, wow. Nice sun deck. That's cool. And this is where you would stay if you would book this. Right. So this could be the hotel room then. Copenhagen Hotel Room Reviews. Here we go. New channel. This is pretty insane, isn't it? <laughs> Especially the view over here. Yeah, wow. This is gorgeous. Absolutely crazy that this is your view. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope one of our viewers stays here and tags us in it because this is pretty crazy. I would stay here. So do you well, get to sleep here too? <laughs> well, it would save some money if we would sleep here, but uh, we don't. <laughs> yeah, it would save some money actually. You already have it rented. Come with me please. Yep. And we have a little extra. Uh, if you are not afraid of heights, yeah, a little yeah. bit, but that's okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> a little hideout here in front of the crane where the operator used to sit. Oh, no way. This is so cool. So a second bedroom as well. Wow, it gets real toasty in here, though. Yeah, yeah, we don't air it. Right. right. <laughs> this is really neat. So a little hangout spot over the harbor. Watching a boat children, go by. Yeah, <laughs> yep, for the children, that's right. Pretty amazing, thanks for showing me all of this. You're very welcome. The adventure continues. I've decided to actually pull up, yes, this is technically somehow a parking spot, I don't really know how. I've pulled up in the buzz to see my friends over at Polestar. This is Morton, we've made some videos together. <laughs> how are you, sir? Hi. Great to Hi. see you. Welcome to Polestar. Dude, you got a precept in here? Yes, we do. What's going on with yeah, that? What's going on with that? Yeah. Holy smokes, yeah. and a new space. And a new space from uh, last year, we moved further down, downtown. Congratulations, so, yeah. this yeah. is really crazy. And you're running this store, right? I'm running this store. Amazing, yeah. dude, this is crazy. So we have the ID Buzz Cargo and the Precept. Which would you rather have? Well, you can actually drive that one now. So uh, <laughs> for the next three years, we have that one and then I'll go for the preset. Right, there you yeah. go. This thing looks incredible. And um, so how many precept concept vehicles do they have? One. Really? One uh, that uh, you can sort of interact with. Yeah. And there's one shell. Wow, but this is one. This is the farthest along prototype. Then why is it here in Copenhagen? Well, there's uh, this uh, chart art fair here in Copenhagen, and uh, we have partnered up with the, uh, the chart guys. It's a uh, design contest, uh, design buildings, and so on. And we want to like cross into that space as well, uh, telling our design story, design language. So that's why it's here. Amazing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And you're still driving your Tesla? Nope. Oh, I what'd you get? It. Yeah. I have the Polestar 2 performance in all of them. Oh, so, uh, proper. Yeah. That'll be cool. Yes. The orange seat belts. Yeah. The gold yeah. seat belts, I guess, in Polestar language. Wow, this thing just looks incredible. Well, really fun to run into you. That was, I was just driving by. I'm like, oh crap, I know people here. Let's Leaving stop. Polestar, see you, Morton. Here comes an Ionic 5 coming down the road. Let's jump into the buzz and continue the day. So, cruising over to dinner right now in the ID buzz, just Great to see Morton over at Polestar and really quite a dense tr dense city right here just sitting in traffic and there's people around and there's flags and I don't know what the heck's going on over here but uh, good thing we're turning right up this way because it looks like that road is blocked. Anyway, uh, Copenhagen's really a wonderful place. I've enjoyed it today. It's insane how many electric taxis there are. I'm looking at two ID4s in front of me that are both taxis. I've seen EQE taxis, EQS taxis. Um, every every electric car you can imagine is a taxi. It's pretty cool. So um, just, just loving my time here a lot more than last time I came to Copenhagen. And um, yeah, I think Volkswagen just chose the right city to launch this product. Now, I really can't tell you how it drives, but it fits in really well visually here in Copenhagen. Apparently, uh, they're doing this whole event for almost a month, something like that. They've had German media previously, now US and UK, uh, a whole bunch of Euro media previously, and then China and other Asian media comes after 
us. So pretty cool event for sure. Um, and that really well thought out. And there's just buzzes everywhere. Take a look at this. I'm just driving down a street, driving down a street and buzzes. How about that? So funny. It's just awesome to see him around. Really loving the two-tone color. I've just checked into my hotel room near where the US reviewers are having dinner and I heard that we actually get to hop on an electric boat and head over to dinner. So I am heading there quickly. We're gonna see everything we can find out about the boat and go on an electric boat. That sounds freaking awesome. So uh, yeah, we're at the 71 Niven Hotel Copenhagen, something like that. Don't know. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Oh, this is the electric boat. It's called <laughs> a green raft. Okay, looks pretty basic. Do doesn't have much thrust there, does it? And collision. <laughs> I think he's wide open throttle right now. And <laughs> collision up. <laughs> this is, and he's, he's wide open that's all she's got she's just stuck right there come on green raft you can do it come on green raft brandon's gonna get his fingers taken off there we go <laughs> Jesus, right? Yes. Welcome to the Raft. We will have a ball adapted for vehicle for our market. Is that full power, Daniel? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many? Uh, how big of a battery you got on this thing? Uh, well, it has uh, 400 uh, pounds. Okay. Uh, and uh, I can uh, frankly say that this is the most green battery package in Denmark. Oh, really? This is refurbished battery cells from a garbage truck. Oh, cool. uh, based on lithium cells, uh, so um, it doesn't get more green than that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, mind your feet. <laughs> it is a little bit more wavy in this part of the, the harbor. When you go to the canals, it's much more calm. Do you think of the edge? Drifting on in so now. Much. Yeah. Let me tell you, there is a neighbor in there. Yeah, no, I know. That's what lost me. I think that's why. But I've been past cops and nobody's stopped me. Is that the last thing? No. Do they just feel bad? I don't know. No one's no one's ever... Could you show that really quick? So that's all of the running gear in there. Yeah. That's yeah. super sweet. And it was from the Technical Institute of Denmark yeah. that did all the battery oh, systems. I have to adjust because it's not from them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm recorded. Yeah. It's some guys working there that has their own uh, company. Okay. Where they make um, uh, battery packages for marine usage. So they're called Cleany Marine and they're super professional. Oh, that's amazing. And then yeah. you guys basically brought the boat to them and said, make it electric. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Well, enjoy. Have a great one. Thank you so much. This is the green raft. Pretty sweet. And there you have it. After an awesome dinner back in the hotel room after a day with ID Buzz. I can't tell you about any of the driving stuff. I can tell you that the air conditioning gets really cold, but there aren't any rear vents, which is weird. And the second row... I think is lacking a little bit. If you're asking my opinion, there's no center armrest. The rear windows don't go down. There's no air vents in the back row. Anyway, let's hope that the long wheelbase has all of these things, especially with the third row. I can't tell you how it drives though, but I thought, okay, let me at least show you how Volkswagen presented it to the media. I hope you enjoyed this. What a fun day it was. I've never actually filmed like a media drive before, but if you want more of this, happy to do so. And then first week of September, second week, I think September 7th, I can tell you all about how it drives from the videos I filmed today. Thank you so much for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. See you on the next one soon. Bye-bye.